I've come across some articles saying this could be worse than the Great Depression and all this crap. And what I'll tell you is the entire world is going through it at the same time. And from a country to country perspective, we have a we're we, we're in a pretty good we're in pretty good shape as far as our currency is as our currency now because everybody's gonna have to spend. But no matter what, the entire world's consumption is going to decrease, which means that yes, productivity will decrease during the coronavirus outbreak, but that doesn't mean that um, we're gonna overtax as far as consumption goes. And that's one of the reasons that some of us have encouraged people not to fully hoard. Because I understand logically, some people are going, dude, I need, I need to hoard. But um, you can hoard a little bit, but you don't have to hoard in every way. Because a lot of businesses are gonna stay open and e-commerce is gonna continue going. And yeah, people are not gonna have as much money, but the government is gonna step in and subsidize so much, it's gonna be shocking for a lot of people. They're gonna be like, Donald Trump just did that? And then we're all gonna go, he had to. Please, think about it. Because no matter what, like, what is, what, what is the purpose of the economy? Well, it's to keep people doing stuff, right? Well, we need people to stop, but then we also need them to be able to do stuff again, right? So we need them to be okay. And we need their companies to be okay. And could that like massively tax our uh, banking system to the point that it's like, this doesn't even, this economy doesn't make sense. Yeah. And could the government be so far in debt to itself? Yes. But no matter what, are we going to be good in the food department? Yes. Are we going to be good in the fuel department? We have a lot of coal miners out there. And could coal mining country end up getting shut down eventually? Certain mines, not all of them, but I mean, even some, all of them. Theore that's the thing, theoretically, but then you could always bring in like new people. And, and that's why you deem certain industries essential. Um, because we, no matter what you think about coal, we have to keep our electricity on. And so, but what I'm trying to say is we're gonna keep this economy, I saw Katy Perry's baby, Oh wait, no, her, her baby bump. I was like, all right, I'm actually happy for her. Uh, but I like, it, cause I've always thought, you know, she's, she's so talented, she needs to have a baby and it's pretty cool she is having one. Anyway, so um, what I was saying is that, um, like I understand logically some people are going, this is crazy, Great Depression, and then you go, okay, um, what is our food situation? We're actually pretty good in the food department. It doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to, oh my gosh, I can't get got the anything that I'm gonna the cheese for my dinner party. That's a, I don't even know what kind of cheese that is. I was just, I, I think I was talking about Gugieri and I, I don't even know if that's a fancy cheese. It's just a cheese I don't know. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna give an example of something that you don't always need. Um, because is Italy getting like, is Italy getting taxed that much? Yes. Which brings me to my next point. Okay, churches and schools can be converted into hospitals. And the key is when you convert it into a hospital, um, it's submitted to Google as an open hospital. Because what's the best thing about schools? Tons of rooms. What's the best thing about churches? Tons of rooms. Um, are these places not gonna be operating probably yes um, because we're not gonna have church services with large groups so um, I was before I said we could do urgent care facilities we can also do churches and schools and that way um, you have more rooms because I feel like urgent care facilities don't have enough rooms so my uh, so, but more than anything I do think that nurses and doctors need to um, know what they're getting into when they go to work you don't want like it, it's not fair that um, someone who's an orthopedic surgeon is it has to be as cautious about um, coronavirus as everyone else. Like I, it, it, I'm just saying you should move people. You don't want all the, you, hospitals are great places to contaminate people, but I, I do understand you do have special ventilation. Uh, I don't, I, maybe it is better to be at a hospital. I might be wrong. All right, so 
do I have anything else I wanted to say? No, but if you haven't heard Bright Eyes, the band, you should check them out. They're that good. Like, if, 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 if I had a show, if I was Miley Cyrus, I'd, I'd have Bright Eyes on my show. I'd, and and, and I, we would just, I don't know what we'd do, we'd just hang out. So, um, he's... He's like my favorite lyricist combined with Ben Gibbard from uh, Death Cab for Cutie. Combined with some other people. 